Hey Reverse, thank you so much for tuning back in. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add multiple formats which are not supported by DaVinci Resolve 18. So if you copy most of the videos, this is what happens. The video will not be working and uh, you'll only get, so sometimes you'll only get sound and sometimes you'll get videos without sound. So that is because there's an issue with uh, DaVinci Resolve and on Linux operating system because uh, they didn't apply for the licenses. So the solution is pretty simple. You'll be using a Vidmux can download from uh, download evidmux from the links in the description below so that's the link i'll show you give me a second evidmux yeah search for it download it for linux go to downloads and in the downloads you can find the linux link i'm using a 64 bit uh, pop os operating system click on it once that is done you'll be able to download it so i have previously downloaded it so you can open it I'll, let me show you how to open it quickly right click and go to properties if you are unable to run it you need to go to properties and then permissions and click uh, check the box which says hello executing the program so once that is done you can run the program so yeah that's the one so uh, let me quickly drag and drop the video that you need to convert and these are the settings you need to put for video output i use mpeg4 and for the audio use mp3 and mov mixer for the output format now let us save the video Select the location where you want to export the video and save it. This video which I am currently converting is a recording from the OBS studio of my screen. For any video that is not working for uh, DaVinci Resolve 18 on Linux or which is not currently not supported, you can follow the exact same process. As it is a repetitive process, I will fast forward this video and continue the next steps. Now that these videos are converted, I can use them in a project. You can directly drag and drop them to DaVinci Resolve 18 and start editing them. Please let me fast forward the video so you can continue the next step. Once all the edits are completed, uh, the uh, next issue that you'll be facing with uh, DaVinci Resolve, it's not actually an issue, but for people who are having lower bandwidth, the exported files are pretty large. Uh, you can select whatever settings that are available that, are, that suits you the most for the exported file. But finally, the output file is quite large. So let me just quickly go through the export process. I'll fast forward the video so that you can see how you can convert the larger files to something which is small and can be uploaded on slower internets too. For this exported video, which is of one minute duration, the size is almost uh, See, it's 9.4 GB. That's too huge for us to upload to YouTube. So the solution is pretty simple. I'll be using Handbrake to export it to H.264 format. If you don't have Handbrake, you can find the links on how to install it in the description below. Let me open the video using Handbrake. You can right click and open with other applications. Click on it and then select Handbrake. For this output, I'll be selecting Production Max. You can do that by selecting the preset option and go to Production and click on Production Max. Yeah. Production Max that will have the you can experiment with other formats also but for me this worked out great as there is less reduction in quality loss and everything set the location where you want to export it to and then click on start to start uh, encoding the video let me fast forward the video so that uh, we'll get the exported file and it can compare the size of the final output Now the export's completed. Let us see the size of the exported video. So that's the exported size, uh, which is like 4, 498 MB, which is comparable for a one minute video and manageable to upload. Uh, that's a significant reduction from 9.4 GB to 498 MB. So that's the process which I follow for all the videos that I edit on uh, my DaVinci Resolve on the Linux setup. Hope you found this video informative. And if you like this video, do click on the like and try subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much people and goodbye.